Pep Guardiola is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, managers of the modern era, winning loads of trophies in Spain, Germany and England, while coaching some of the brightest talents the game has ever seen. At Barcelona, he coached the likes of Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta and Xavi Hernandez, then worked with more stars at Bayern Munich. Currently at Manchester City, he has the likes of Erling Haaland, Bernardo Silva, just to mention a few. Despite all these world-class stars, guess who he considers the most talented player he's ever coached? You won't believe it. Phil Foden. Funny, right? Well, Foden has been on a different level this season for Man City, and when the club needed someone to help them win, in the absence of Kevin De Bruyne during the long layoff, the young midfielder stepped up. From spectacular strikes to dictating and actually deciding games, the 23-year-old has been a sensation for the Manchester club this season as they remain on a course for yet another treble. He's already been compared to some of the best players in the game, among them Ricardo Kaka. It's simply because right now, Foden looks like one of the best midfielders in the world. All this though does not come as a surprise. We've known it for a long time that Foden is a talent, one that, if managed well, will grow into an all-time great for club and country. For anyone who's known him since the academy days, they will tell you how good the lad was and has been. Even at that very young age, he was considered too good for his age. For instance, he once scored 5 goals in an under 10s match as the young Man City side won 10-0. That's how good he was. And coincidentally, a game involving the club's under 14 team was going on at the same time just close by. And seeing Foden was too good for the under 10s, the academy coach Steve Iyer took him off and switched him to playing the under 14s match. Wild, right? He had a good game and after that the coach started allowing him to train with the under 14 team more often despite being way younger. You won't see many players around who can boast of such a talent at that age. This kind of ability can only be found in great players. Think of Ronaldo de Lima, Lionel Messi or Kaka. Despite being a better player than his peers, he faced one challenge that almost threatened his overall develop, his relatively small stature. His small body almost posed a challenge to his growth as a footballer, primarily due to concerns about his physicality and ability to compete at the highest level. In youth football, taller and more physically imposing players are sometimes favoured, especially in positions where strength and aerial ability are considered essential. However, Foden's remarkable talent, exceptional technical skills and football intelligence ultimately outweighed any concerns about his stature. His dedication, work ethic and determination to prove himself enabled him to overcome these perceived limitations. So what he lacked in height, he made up for it in terms of skill and the right mentality. This endeared him to the coaches, becoming indispensable in the process. According to Mark Allen, who was Manchester City's academy director during Foden's formative years, Phil wasn't the biggest, said Allen. Physically, there was no way he could compete, but he was smart enough to work around that. His frustration came when he saw players in his group being promoted into older groups. While he had the ability to do that, it wasn't wise or prudent to push him into overage groups where it was significantly more physical. I had several conversations with him about that. They used the training sessions with the under-14s to teach him to avoid contact and insisted on him finding the little spaces, something we now see him doing superbly at the top level. When he built up his confidence, he also learned how to take contact from the big boys. All the careful training definitely paid off, because a few years later, when he became old enough to represent the under-17 England team, he was exceptional, and his name was always the first on the team sheet for the Euros. He was one of the key players as England went all the way to the finals, where they faced Spain. He had a good game and even scored in the final match, but unfortunately England lost in penalties after the match had ended 2-2 after extra time. They got the chance to avenge the loss a few months later, this time at the 2017 Under-17 World Cup Finals. Foden scored a brace in that match as England outclassed Spain 5-2. Sweet revenge! Foden also won the Golden Ball Award for the tournament, a clear testimony that he was head and shoulders above his peers. He was destined for the top. It didn't take long. A while after his success with the national team, he made his debut for Manchester City and everyone could see what a special talent he was. It was in 2019 though when he announced himself on the big stage, scoring his first Premier League goal against Tottenham. The boy had finally arrived. He impressed everyone, including Guardiola, who would later come to say Foden was the most talented player he had coached at that age. That performance against Spurs was just a glimpse of what was to come, because the following season Foden was given more playing time, making even more appearances. 
He featured in 23 games in the 2019-20 season and 28 in the 2020-21 season. But it was not the number of games that was impressive, it was his personal numbers. For instance, in the 2020-21 season, he got a total of 16 goals and 10 assists in all competitions, and in the 2021-22 season, he got 14 goals and 11 assists. Even last season, when he did not have the best campaigns and was dropped from the starting team on a number of occasional, he still managed 15 goals in all competitions. And he has managed to come back this season even a better player. From one great performance to another, from the Premier League to the Champions League, he has been Man City's best player without a doubt. Remember that superb hat-trick against Brentford? Or that stunning brace against Manchester United which helped City keep their Premier League title dreams alive? Then there's the Champions League clash at Santiago Bernabeu, where he put in a masterclass against Real Madrid, winning the player of the match. The boy is on fire. What's even more impressive in all of this is how Guardiola managed Foden's development from his early days with a senior team. He ensured that he gave him consistent game time without overworking him. He gradually integrated Foden into the first team, ensuring he gained experience while also providing enough rest periods. This approach allowed Foden to grow as a player without risking burnout, ultimately fostering his development into a key player for the team. Despite his achievements though, he does not receive enough recognition as he should. He's often mentioned in the same breath as the likes of Bukayo Saka, Vinicius Jr and Jude Bellingham, but you won't be wrong if you compare him with some of the game's greats. And despite being just 23, he has won pretty much everything there is to win in club football. He's a Premier League and Champions League winner. In fact, he has five Premier League titles, two FA Cups and four EFL Cup titles, as well as the Club World Cup. You see what I mean. And it's not like he has played just a small part of that success. He's been at the centre of those wins, playing a massive role in those title runs. There are a few players who can boast of such a trophy collection at such a young age. Matter of fact, only Lionel Messi could rival that collection at that age. And he can only get better. Of course, there is the fact that he's playing in a City team full of quality in all areas, which helps him to thrive. But that doesn't, not even for a minute, take away from the fact that he is a talented lad. With his quality and ability to decide matches and score crucial goals, it won't be long before he is considered a Ballon d'Or candidate. But in order to achieve that, he must play consistently and keep racking in the numbers. He lost his place to Jack Grealish last season, but he's managed to bounce back, particularly taking advantage of Kevin De Bruyne's injury, to cement his place in the team and make sure that he is no longer indispensable. With the current scoring run and ability to score, this looks like it's going to be his best season ever. He also needs to ensure he becomes a regular for the England national team, that way he can be mentioned in the Ballon d'Or conversation. As Foden continues to dazzle, his journey from promising talent to bona fide star exemplifies dedication, talent and perseverance. With each match, he reaffirms his status as one of football's most exciting young talents. As the season progresses, all eyes remain fixed on Englishmen, eager to witness the next chapter in his remarkable career. With his unwavering determination and undeniable skill, the sky is truly the limit for this exceptional athlete. And he will definitely become City's main man in many seasons to come. Can he lead Man City to yet another treble? Can he eventually win the Ballon d'Or or be mentioned among the game's greats? Let us know what you think in the comments below.